Hey, welcome to the headquarters. This is Default, and welcome to a bit of a post-mortem on my recently released map, Emergency 17. Just gonna use my fiddling around on the menu as an intro. Um, sorry about the even worse microphone quality than usual, as I am literally just using my phone to record this. The microphone on my headset isn't working very well right now. Um, so we're to begin, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So map is loading up and... Alright, where, where to begin, where to begin? Well, I suppose I should start with how the general opinion of the map turned out. Um, generally... Blech. Generally speaking, most people thought it was pretty good. Some people gave it a 10 out of 10, which I think that's completely unreasonable. Because this isn't 10 out of 10 quality work. I I'm not afraid to admit that it's not that good. It's decent, but not that good. Um, someone called uh, Dolmo the Douglas create a really nice video on my map, which I highly appreciate. Uh, I uh, recommend that anyone who's at all interested in either my map or just level design in general go look at that video. It is Dolmo the Douglas, uh, Black Mesa Emergency 17 uh, mod analysis. Um, find the jam be there. Um, and I also recommend that you check out some of the other videos on his channel. He does a lot of stuff on uh, level design in Half-Life 2 and Black Mesa. Um, anyway, but I, I would consider the map about average quality. Uh, maybe if I was going to really have a big head, I'd, ha I'd say it's slightly above average. But generally speaking... Um, the, the whole map was intended to be a, uh, project, an experiment, uh, as it is, T um, as to how well I can make single-player level design, and generally speaking, I think I succeeded in that venture. Uh, the problem with that was that, uh, with a combination of that procrastination and poor time management, um, that plan had a the problem of time and it wound up ballooning to be a year and a half project when it really should have taken like a month or two. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of ridiculous, you know. Um, but in the end, I am happy with with how it turned out, and I'm glad I didn't just uh, scrap it. But having said that, I have learned a lot of things while making the map, and generally speaking, I feel like I can do better at this point now that I've finished it. And get on that head cramp there. Uh, anyway, so as we come on to our first combat encounter, I want to talk about how you don't get the Glock in this map at all. Instead, you just get the uh, Magnum first and foremost. There's a couple reasons for that. That is one to help the pacing because with the Glock, um, and there were also uh, Snarks in very early versions, but that that was taken out. Um, but with the Glock, uh, it, it sort of had a, a bit of a problem with the pacing where you got weapons a bit too quickly. It was like you get the Glock for five seconds and then immediately you have a Magnum. And it just was was really kind of useless, and I, I just don't really like the Glock. I, I prefer the Magnum as a handgun, um, but the MP5 does pretty much most of the stuff that the Glock does, but better. <laughs> it, it's a bit worse for ammo conservation, but that's about it. Um, anyway, I like this area, by the way. Uh, I think it's... A pretty nice combat encounter, and then uh, after I spiced up the detailing after the demo, I think it looks pretty sweet. I mean, that that's a nice looking cliff with that truck and everything. I like that. Um, 
Anyway, uh, so... I think I forgot what was in these crates. Because, <laughs> it, it, again, with the procrastination thing, there was huge gaps of time between working on the map. So I might have forgotten what I actually put in it. Um... Anyway, so we're coming up on what is pretty much my favorite part of the map, actually. And Sorry about that, my phone was acting weird. Um, anyway. This area... I think looks great. Uh, visually and plays great... Well, gameplay-wise. Uh, I, I really like the combat dynamic you have here. There's a lot of choices that the player can make. There's a decent amount of cover. And I also think that just the aesthetic appeal of the area, just in general, looks very nice. It's probably what I would consider to be the best looking area in the entire map, even. Um, so... If nothing else, I am glad that I finished this bit, because I am very proud of how this particular area turned out. Um, oh yeah, and down here you can uh, fall down and grab another magnum to replenish your ammo. I also like the fact that you can just fall down there and grab some equipment. Uh, gives it a much more interesting sense of space, in my opinion. And, you know, it's kind of interesting. Uh, going back to the analysis video that I brought up earlier. Um, it was kind of interesting watching his video, because some of the points that he brought up... Uh, pr uh, points of praise that he brought up. I actually... Uh had not even thought about <laughs> like it, it was like i was watching the video and I, and like he's talking about all these things that i did right and i'm like yup i meant to do that <laughs> and then with a sarcastic voice of course uh but it's it's a bit awkward trying to get words out when you don't have a script and you're just trying to react to the video at hand. Um, so however, knowing that I did those things right, I I am glad that I watched the video because now I know what to replicate. And um here we have an area with the Vortigaunts. Um, some people didn't like this area. I think it's fine. I kind of enjoy it. But I can see why people uh, didn't much like fighting in it. Of course, I suppose I'm the developer of the map, so I know exactly how to handle the situation. Um, this encounter with the bulk squid here could have totally been improved. Because uh, as it stands, he just sort of falls out of the, out of the vent there. And... He's totally out of the way, so you can really just run past him. I mean, I didn't in this footage, and oh look, I'm climbing some boxes. Uh, but so yeah, this room probably could have been improved in more than a couple of ways, and now we're crawling through a vent. Um, let's see. Another problem that a lot of people had with the map was the lighting. A lot of people said that the lighting was kind of uh, boring and very uninspired and you know I can kind of see where they're coming from coming from with that. Like this area, this is a uh, pretty sensibly well lit up area but it's also kind of boring in that aspect. It's just like it's like a place faced with an emergency. Emergency 17. Um, and yet it's all the lights are still working just fine like there were, were a, few, a few moments where i tried to spice it up by having like that uh uh low light map scale with the grate 
I know there's there's a scripted sequence with those soldiers there. I like that bit. Uh, here's a set piece with the zombie. I like this little set piece here because uh, with the you notice the chair that was a. Uh, uh, thrown on the ground with the alien blood spatter, spatter next to it. I uh, wanted it to look like there was a conflict there. Um, oh, and here we have uh, a really sweet set and set piece. I really like how this one came out. Because uh, it gives an interesting gameplay dynamic and it also... It, it's just... And also, uh, it's just interesting seeing the soldiers actually fight aliens like they're supposed to. Um, and what's interesting is that this area, originally, it was uh, just an empty room and one of those alien grunts just spawns behind a pillar. Which is pretty lame. Pretty lame. Um, anyway, a bit of a puzzle here. Oh, look. Radio tower explodes and falls over. Just something to give some visual interest. Um, anyway, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the lighting. Um, but yeah, uh, place is faced with an emergency and yet it's still perfectly well lit up. And I, I can see why some people would have problems with this. I also feel like I should have been... Uh, also on the subject of detailing, I could have been more creative with the ceilings in this map because typically uh, the nice thing about ceilings is since the player can't reach up there, you can just throw whatever the hell you want up there and it uh, gives some more visual spice. Uh, but really I always just use a flat texture, which, no. Eh. Totally could have been better. Um, I also like uh, this encounter here with the Vorti guns. Um, can't really place why. Just thought it was nice. Uh, here there's a side area where, where uh, if you decide to fight some Hound Eyes, you can get some extra equipment. Uh, but you still have to fight the alien one because, you know, it's, and make short work of him um anyway so yeah go through the side passage to get the crank for the door and actually uh interesting exploit with the crank you can actually toss a grenade up there and uh, uh, uh hang on i'll explain it when we get there because uh but you you can toss a grenade up there and it'll get the crank down and initially I was planning to fix that however I decided to leave it because I figured that if the player was smart enough to realize that they could do that then they deserve the time that they saved from doing that um, here's a ledge very yellow I don't know why but I like the yellow lighting there uh, so yeah uh, as you can see you can totally just throw a grenade up over there and uh, knock the crank and knock the valve down uh, in order to get it down quicker. Uh, so you can do that if you want to, but in this instance I just played it the normal way. Anyway, just turn the valve and open the fire door. And you know, now that I think about it, it's kind of strange that you use a valve to open a fire door, but eh, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> uh, so you use the tau cannon to take out these alien grunts, or maybe not if you want to use a mp5 grenade or whatever. Player choice. Player choice is always important. Um, let me just open those boxes to get a bit of extra ammo. Dead guy. Um, a lot of people didn't like this area because they felt like it was just a boatload of wasted potential. Like, uh, someone brought up that I could have, like, a sniper in this area and that, uh, uh, hang on, I'm not sure what I'm doing, uh, in that cafeteria window, or potentially even have a, an alien dropship, uh, throw down some enemies, 
but no, I just use it to uh, have a ladder that's on fire. Which I suppose is better than nothing, but just barely. Just barely. It looks nice, though. I think the area looks pretty sweet. But it is a shame that I didn't try to do any more with it. Anyway, so now we're coming up against the last fight, and the mod analysis that I mentioned earlier, uh, yet again, I'm talking about that, uh, mentioned that this fight was kind of crap. Um, not sure if I agree with that or disagree with that, because he said that once the aliens spawn in, everything just goes insane. However, uh, it's probably because I'm the actual developer of the map and I know how to handle this fight, but I like the dynamic. I think it provides an interesting challenge for the player. And I, I also just, generally speaking, like the flow of the arena. I think, I think it's nice. I enjoy it. I can see why other people didn't, but I enjoyed it. No, and uh, other people enjoyed it too, which is interesting. It was sort of like a thing that people either really, really liked or just absolutely hated. But but it does tell me that I do need to be careful with how many enemies I throw at the player at one time, because I can't agree that the amount of soldiers I threw at the player did get a bit insane. It's also worth mentioning that the detailing in this area, well, I do think that this room in particular is kind of pretty and I'm satisfied with how it came out. Ultimately, the detailing in this map of the four is definitely the worst. Like, out here, this is just bland garbage. It's garbage. Uh, that, that was because at, at this stage, I was kind of getting sick of working on the map and just wanted it to be done. Uh, so, I gave it my best go for the, for the, uh, time that I had, and then I just wrapped it up and released it. On oh, this train sequence, that, uh, this was a bitch to get working. Um, it was hard to get the train entity set up to work the way I wanted it to. As you can see, the lighting in the train is absolute dog shit. Um... A map by HQ Defeat. Um, but I think it was all worth it to get the nice vista at the end. Even if it was literally ripped directly from the cliff map in the base Black Mesa game. But I give it to you from a different angle, so it's at least not uh, a carbon copy, so to speak. Yeah, a little area in the background there. Anyway, but I do like the ending sequence. It gives a nice sense of, uh, just... Uh, the, the map being wrapped up and finished. It's nice. It's nice. Um, anyway, so that's pretty much the whole map. Um, so I guess it all comes down to, am I satisfied with how it came out and what I learned from it? Yes, absolutely. Do I think it could have been better? Yes, absolutely. Am I going to continue working on it? Hell no. I am done with it. I am going to put it behind me and the video is over. Goodbye.